As you go around your workplace, as you go shopping and in public, you'll see how people abuse quotation marks. They use them for emphasis when they really don't have to. There are other ways to emphasize words besides quotation marks, and we'll talk about them. The first is that periods and commas always go inside quotation marks. There's no exception to the rule, so it doesn't matter how they come to be beside each other, periods and commas always, always go inside quotation marks. Now it really depends on question marks and exclamation points. How do they fall in the sentence and how is the sentence used? She asked, did he remember to call mom? Now that entire statement is a quotation, so we need the question to go inside because it's all one question. Did she ever finish reading War and Peace? That is not a direct quotation. However, the book War and Peace is surrounded by quotation marks. That's how we tell it's a book in AP style. And so we would put the question mark outside of that sentence. Every holiday we sing Silent Night, our favorite Christmas carol. So what do we do about colons and semicolons? They go outside quotation marks, as in this example. This is clearly on the inside of a sentence, so it's within the quotation marks and within the sentence. Nancy sang firework. She killed it. So that semicolon goes outside the quotation marks. Now single quotes have only one place in media writing, and that's when we have a single quote within a double quote. Read the book To Kill a Mockingbird before tomorrow morning, the teacher ordered. So that statement is a direct quote. However, we need quotations around To Kill a Mockingbird because it's the name of a book. But we would have to put single quotes to make it fit within the double quotes. And that's the only time we're going to use single quotes in media writing. Now in Associated Press style, here are a few other places that you would use quotation marks. Again, remember that periods and commas always go inside quotation marks. In AP style, italics and underline and bold are not choices for any composition title. The only choice we have is a quotation mark. So we'll put quotation marks around these composition titles. Books, poems, songs, TV shows and movies, magazine and newspaper articles, and plays. Those are some of the compositions that we will put quotation marks around. So a composition is anything somebody creates. Uh, we'll again cover more about quotations as we go through our AP style guide, but I wanted to you to know some of these particular guidelines as you start your semester.